getting ready to turn the corner over to booth 16. <gasps> Ooh, look at him, Frank. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Well, good morning, everyone, and happy September 25th. It is Monday. Two more days, my little baby daughter will be 24. But I am starting off the vlog with a visitor. Hi! It's my mother. My mother is visiting. It's Daria. Hello, Dor everybody. Doria. Doria May. <laughs> um, and she's visiting from Florida this week. So we're going to do a little bit of shopping today. And we're going to be doing some shopping in Madison, Indiana. So that's what we're going to do today. Also, look, there's Dad. And there's my friend John. And there's his friend John. Hey, Jay. And then we're... <laughs> He's a stinker. He's a stinker. Oh, boy. Next seat is my mom's best friend, Jane, which is also John's wife. Now, let me just tell you. Got John and Jane and Dad, how long have I been around antiques? All your life. So, we... That's... We all... I was a baby. They met... You guys all met at a garage at sale. A garage sale. Garage sale. Your garage sale. And how old was I? Oh, gosh. You probably. Wasn't even a year. I wasn't even a year old. Really so, John and Jane owned an antique mall called Chismar's Attic in Anderson, Indiana. And that's the basement where I spent all of my time <laughs> with John and Jane's kids. Chismar. But we would explore. We weren't supposed to. Oh, we, out. we would explore, we would go through all the books, and that's like, I just remember the smell of going through all these books and thinking that was a cool thing. We would go through some boxes, especially Dave. David was like the lead, the ringleader. Uh -huh. David was the, David would get us to go through some of the boxes. And I remember you guys had that fat jiggler thing down in the basement. Oh, God. It was one of those things that you stood on, you wrapped it around your waist, and you turned it on, and it blew. We used to play on that. That was like our amusement toy. Yeah. You remember more than I do, Yeah, I, I remember. All right, so we're, we're going to head to Madison, Indiana. We're going to do a little bit of shopping today. Good morning, and happy Tuesday, September 26th. My mom is still in bed. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I told her I needed to, when I wanted to get to the shop. And she said, oh, no. So she's still asleep. She'll be up, the, up at the shop here in a little bit. I'll either have to come and get her. Dad will bring her up or her friend will bring her up. And I know a lot of you are like, wait a minute, Misty. Your mom and your dad are both staying? Yes, they are the best of friends. They talk almost every day on the phone. So it's just one big happy family, which is really, really pretty nice. Ooh, such a glare in my on my glasses. I got a little crazy with the glitter eyeshadow today. Colourpop has a Madame Leona special edition for Halloween and I got it and um, it's all over. It's all over. And it stays on because I cannot wipe it off. I've tried wiping it off a little bit. Anyway, I'm very sparkly today. Um, I have a live sale today. I have a meeting today first at 11. I have a live sale today. I have m five or six eBay orders and two uh, virtual antique marketplace orders that I've got to ship first thing this morning. So that's going to be the first thing on my agenda today. I am going to go to Starbucks because it is Starbucks Tuesday. Yes, it is Starbucks Tuesday. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. You know, I was feeling so sick last week which I'm much better now. Thank you. I uh, lowered, they lowered my dose and it's a much more manageable dose because it was kicking my butt. So things taste fine to me now and I don't feel nauseous, but um, I don't know what I'm going to get today from Starbucks. I was thinking maybe that apple-y, that apple-y thing because I got that last week and I liked it, but I might get pumpkin spice latte. I don't know, but I'm going to get something today and I'll let you know when I get to the shop. So let's get to the shop. We got a lot of things to ship this morning and um, I, have a, I have a lot to do this week because I'm leaving for Mackinac on Friday. And I'm so excited. If you're not following me on the Misty Show, sorry, I'm going to have laser beam eyes for a few minutes. 
I'm going to be doing some vlogging and it's going to go up on the Misty Show. So if you're interested in Mackinac Island and seeing how beautiful it is, we're going to be tasting some fudge. We're going to be going on some tours. Make sure that you are, uh, that you are subscribed to the Misty Show. It's free. The link is in the description. All right, let's go to Starbucks and let's get some shipping done this morning before we have our meeting. All right, I just got to the shop and I got a pumpkin spice chai latte. Cynthia! This is still, this is still, this is still a Cynthia coffee. Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, so I got my items pulled. Instead of me taking you over to the shelf and being like, God, I don't remember. I went ahead and pulled them and I brought them to the table. They're teeny tiny cells, but I mean, they're, but there are a lot of them. So I'm, they're, they're small except for one. One's not small. It's not ginormous, but it's not, which is the Simpoli. This beautiful emerald green. Isn't this beautiful? It sold on eBay, as well as this is some, some kind of vintage camera light sensor gauge thing. I've had it forever. I actually bought it in a, I had, I bought a big camera bag at an auction and I made tons of money on the lenses that were in that bag. Um, and then I made money on the bag because the bag was cool too. And this was just like the random other things that I just listed. So this has been listed for a very long time. But it sold. I got this from the bins. This probably cost me five cents, maybe even because it's so lightweight. Um, it is a longer burger uh, Easter tie-on. So, I mean, I'll find it at the bins. If I can get it for cheap, I'll sell it. Um, this, um, I had two of these, so this was the double that I had of the Mackinac Island glass, which I'm going there. Look, that's going to be me and Mark and Emma Collin right there in that buggy. So that sold on eBay as well as the Man in the Moon, McCoy. I call these Moon Man, Moon Man mugs. I love them. I know it's brown, but this is a set, this is a thing that when it's brown, I don't put it down. I pick it up. I picked this up. It is McCoy. Um, when they were originally produced, they did have cold paint on the eyes and the mouth. I myself really kind of prefer, prefer them unpainted, but you can occasionally find them with all the paint on there and sometimes a little bit of the paint on there. So that's also sold on eBay. Also the Epcot Center salt and pepper shakers. These are really cool. They've never been used. They're in their original box with the five dollars so you know that's vintage walt disney productions so these are from disney world because that's where epcot center is and then this sold these were from my fab fit fun so the, I, my box is almost already paid for than just selling these two things so balance me which is the wonder eye cream and also sold to the same person now in my fab fit fun video on the misty show i said that's a man's brush and I got a lot of comments from it. It's a boar bristle brush, which a lot of people said makes your hair very, very shiny. Mark uses a brush similar to this. That's why I was like, that's a man brush. So that's why I said that. I don't even use a brush on my hair. I pick it. I use a pick. I'll show you tomorrow uh, morning what I use on my hair, but I don't even brush my hair. I use a pick. But apparently a boar bristle bleh, boar that's a hard word to say. Boar bristle brush makes your hair very shiny, according to a lot of people in the comments. But that sold to the same person. And then on Virtual Antique Marketplace, I sold these Silvercrest Fenton candlesticks. These are going to be great for Christmas time. The red candle in there. Yes. So those sold. You can also use them as a riser. You can. See? Look at that. Look at that. You can use them as a riser. So they're, ver they're versatile. So those sold and then these sold. The sweet little bumblebee condiment. I don't know if these are, I just say condiment because you can put whatever you wanted to in there. They do have their original spoons. So back in the 50s, they really, know how, they really knew how to throw a party with these anthropomorphic little critters. But all of these things were all cross-listed. So some sold on eBay, some sold on Vamp. Those did not because they're not vintage in it. Well, that could have been, but no, those weren't sold or even listed on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I have to get those shipped first thing, and I'm going to take them to the post office this morning. I'm going to check my P.O. box as well, and um, but I have a meeting at 11, 
And then I have a live sale, which we're going to sell all of these things. And I don't want to show those things to you because by the time you watch this, hopefully, hopefully they'll all be sold. And look, look, my little golden bird that I'm selling today matches my glasses. We're twins, little bird. It's the same color exactly. Lensmart. I have a link for the glasses in the description. If you're wanting some fun, funky, and fun, and fresh glasses, uh, Lensmart online there's a link that you can save 25 percent in the description okay i'm gonna get these shipped hi well i thought i would go ahead so i had a pretty nice response to me showing some shipping but not a lot because some people were like no shipping misty no but i'm gonna do a little bit because more people said yes i like the shipping so i'm just gonna show you maybe one thing a week Okay, just one thing a week, possibly. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to shorten my vlogs and make them, you know, a, twice a week instead of once a week. But I'm going to show you, these are going to, they're not a hard thing to ship, but there's components to them. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. It doesn't mean it's the only way to do it, but we've got two little lids, two little spoons, two little bugs. So... What I am going to do is show you what we're, what, how I, how I ship these little critters. I'm going to roll out, basically each component, other than the spoons, each component is going to have its own sheet of bubble wrap. American Bubble Boy is where I get all of my bubble wrap. It'll be delivered right to your door. AmericanBubbleBoy.com. Or you can, I do have a link in the description that you can um, you can use as well. Well, come on camera. There. All right, I'm gonna set the little spoons aside, but we cannot forget them. And then I am going to get a piece of paper. Again, I like to just as assurance, I like to wrap them in paper. I'm just gonna take this one sheet of paper and then I cut it in four pieces. Uh, here's my background music. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I saw that's a hard knock life in the other one. What, what ones should we sing today? Um, let's sing. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it long enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm the little, little, I'm the light. Okay, that's all we're going to do because paper is cut. So uh, now I'm going to take my paper. And I'm going to wrap each of these little, I'm going to put some paper in that void. I'm going to wrap each one in paper. You don't have to tape the paper. Just lay it down. Remember, we're not, we are not over taping things to drive our customers crazy. Just lay it down right there. You can't see where I'm laying it down, but I'm laying it down, I promise. So these little guys, I'm going to fill in those voids like that. We're also going to wrap them in paper. You got the biggest piece of paper. You're special. No rhyme or reason. You're just wrapping it in paper. Then we take our bubble wrap with the bubbles going upwards. The bubbles going upwards and then I start I lay it down as like almost like a diamond when I'm doing small things like this like salt and pepper shakers and that sort of thing and then I wrap it what in my mind I'm thinking I'm wrapping it like a diaper or like a little envelope and then I'm putting one piece of tape right there next sheet get my next bug put it in the diamond shape wrap it like a diaper one piece of tape Boom. Next one. The lid. Diagonal. Wrap it like a diaper. One piece of tape. Boom. The next one. Diagonal. Wrap it like a diaper. One piece of tape. Boom. So now we've got all of our pieces. Now, because I'm extra and I like to use things up a little bit, it, because it, I, it makes shipping a little bit more fun for me, I got my tissue paper, which I love Jilson Roberts tissue paper. My muse of shipping is um, Fresh Blooming Clothing on YouTube. I've learned everything from her. 
All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two lids. Oops. We're going to oh, get in my hand. We're going to wrap the two lids in the tissue paper, okay? It's just making it. We're making our customer open this and be like, wow. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Because I, I am not good at wrapping. Like, if you looked at it real close, you'd be like, oh, man, she just wadded all that up. That's, but still, it's, it's the presentation when they open their box. All right, so I've got orange tool over there. I've got some blue. We're going to use this blue right here. I'm going to put the little ribbon on it. And I also don't like to necessarily tie things like in knots and stuff because I think about maybe some people that might have some arthritis or that might make them might make it a little bit harder for them to open a package if it's tied in a bunch of knots. This was a virtual antique marketplace purchase. So I'm going to give them a coaster and the important card that lets people know where they can find you. Actually, I'm not going to give them a coaster. We're going to give them, uh, let's see, a Halloween and a ghost sticker. And then I'm going to give them a magnet. I've got magnets in here that I got from Ann Eckhart. We'll give them this little old-fashioned telephone magnet as their package topper. We've got these little spoons right here. So with these little spoons, I don't know where I got these little baggies, but I got them from somewhere. But I'm going to put them in. Now, they are spoons, and they're not glass, but they could still break. So this baggie is big enough to where I'm going to wrap it, and it's protecting it. Uh-oh, we have to undo this because it's too much air. Okay, one itty bitty little piece of tape there. And then stick that on the package like that. And then these two guys, I'm going to use some more of this blue ribbon. Again, you do not have to do this. This makes me happy. It makes me happy to wrap things pretty. I enjoy doing it, so that's why I do it. And I and I like the fact of knowing that maybe my customer will, maybe they're having a bad day, and they're they bought something for themselves, and it'll make them happy. Or maybe they bought it to give as a gift, and then all they have to do take my business card. Well, maybe you do want to leave my business card on so they know that they can go on and buy some more things, right? So let's put it. This is a recycled Amazon box. But you can see here it has this battery thing on it. Don't worry about peeling that sticker off. Don't waste your time. Just put a big X over it. The post office, they're used to that. And your customer is not going to care. So don't worry about peeling that off because that, that can take a little bit of time. So we're going to put our paper on the bottom and then our items here on the top so look when they open it up I mean I'm gonna put more more paper on top but when they pull that paper off they're gonna see the pretty item that they spent their hard-earned money on and it'll make them happy and then that makes me happy and it'll make it'll make everybody happy Tape it back up. So it is okay and perfectly fine to use recycled materials. And so now we're going to weigh it. It weighs 10.8 ounces, which I round up to 11 ounces. One thing that I will take off that I do recommend taking off and peeling off, taking the time to peel off, is anything with your address on it. Don't, you don't want people to know your address. Even these, these guys right here, I just draw a line through them so they can't be scanned. So it's 10.8 ounces, so it's, uh, we're going to round it up to 11 ounces. And I think I know what size. Yeah, 9 by 6, 
by five. And then I'll go over, this is a virtual antique marketplace. Oh, there we go. This is virtual antique marketplace. So all I have to do is put in these the weight and the dimension and print off the label. I don't have to send a tr tracking number because that's automatically done. So easy peasy. But that's my one shipping video. I might do dedicated videos so way that we here in the in the future. That way people will be like, no, I don't want to watch that. But they do take a lot of time because I can just ship real quick. And, you know, they can take a lot of time if you're making a video doing it. So, anyway, now I'm going to get the rest of this done and I'll check back in in a little bit. Hello, everybody. Good morning and happy September 27th. September 27th. My little baby girl is 24 years old today. Happy birthday, Emma. <sighs> I remember this day. Like it was yesterday. I didn't think she was ever going to come. She was two weeks late. And when she, I was in labor with her, she still didn't want to come. So they had to make her come. They were prepping me for a C-section and they were using the vacuum. And I was like, no, I was bound to be determined. They were starting to get me ready to take me back for a C-section. I was determined and I got her out myself. So anyway, um, I had a sale overnight on eBay. Something that I've had listed for a very long time. And it is a game. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, this one. Rapadoodle. Rapadoodle. Um, I, you know, I love to buy these. Um, oh, more light is needed. Oh, let's get into more light. I buy these sealed games because fourth quarter... You know, people are looking for Christmas gifts and that sort of thing. So, um, it's a good thing to get. So, Rapidoodle. I, it's like, is it like a um, charades kind of thing? I don't know. But it sold on eBay. And I'm going to get it shipped. And then, today I have to ship the things from my live sale from yesterday. My mom is still here. She's going to be at the shop eventually. But she never wants to wake up as early as I do. So, she'll be here after a bit. When I can pop in and we can say hi to her again. But um, I'm going to get started on this shipping before she gets here. And I also need to film a few videos because I'm leaving for vacation next week. And I'm trying to get as much things done as I can. I'm a little stressed out about it. So I'm going to get this shipping done and then I will check back in and maybe mom will be here by then. All right. Well, I guess mom is not coming <laughs> to the shop today. She's just having a good time, just kind of hanging out at the house, hanging out with Maybell and Mr. Flutterpants. We'll hang out later tonight, but I have to work, so we'll hang out later tonight. But I had an eBay sale. I did, it's, uh, what time is it? 11.30? Something like that. I got all of my virtual, no, I got all of my live sale items shipped, uh, but I, I just sold something on eBay something I hate to ship and that's a set of glasses so let me show you these little glasses back here they're made by Libby I actually got them from the extravaganza when I went in Ohio from a dollar box so I have one two three five dollars in all of it so I think I sold it as a best offer for $35. You'll see it on the screen. But um, I hate shipping glasses. But they were a good price. So I'm going to go get these shipped. They sold on eBay. And the reason why I say that I hate to ship glasses. Is because the amount of packing material. And bubble wrap. That they consist of. It's not hard to ship. It's not hard. It just takes a lot of materials so that's why that's why i hate shipping it just a lot of materials okay so i'm gonna ship these and then i need to film well i need to get some things um set up i'm having a sale on Ooh, let me look at my calendar hang on i don't want to tell you the wrong day october i can't believe it's october next week well yeah, next week, next Monday is October. Isn't that crazy, crazy. But the ninth 
of October. So that's the week after I get back from Michigan. I am having a sale at 1 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Eastern with my buddy Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage. And probably Aaron too. He might be coming around too. But Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage and I are having a sale together on my channel right here, 1 o'clock Eastern on October 8th. And then, and then, that night, I said, I meant October 9th. Did I say October 8th? October 9th. And then, over on Mother Tucker Antiques at 8 p.m. Eastern on October 9th, I'm having a sale at Mother Tucker Monday. Can't do it the first Monday of the month, which is when I normally do it because I'll be in Michigan. But on the 9th, 8 p.m. So I got two sales on Monday, which is fine. So it's going to make up for me not having a sale, you know, while I'm in Michigan. And then Michael and I have our sale, our normal Tuesday sale at 1 o'clock. And then at 7 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on VAMP. So that means it is not, it's not going to stream on YouTube. It's not going to stream on Facebook. It's only going to stream on VAMP. So if you want to attend my next VAMP live sale, which is all going to be, um, I, I, it's going to be a combination of uh, buyer's choice and, um, you know, auctions. Um, that's going to be on the 12th, Thursday, October 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern, exclusively on Virtual Antique Marketplace. So make sure that you are a member. It's free. Make sure that you are you putting in all your, your registering as a seller. You only have to do that once. We have 65 sellers on right now. 65. So you have the opportunity to go and support 65 other resellers and shopping the items that they have statically listed. So go check them out. Next, when I get back, we're going to be onboarding another 30. So that's almost 100 sellers. And then the week of the 15th, I'll be in Vegas. So, so I got to have all these sales in because I've got two weeks in a row that I'm going to be taking off. And that makes me very nervous because it's fourth quarter and, you know, it's, it's time to be selling. So, um, that's the update for that, but I'm going to get these, I'm not going to show you because I've already done my shipping thing because now people don't want to do shipping, but I'll show you real quick. Okay. I'm not going to go through all of the, the details, but basically tuck and roll. I filled the voids. I tuck and roll, wrap them in bubble wrap, put them in a box, bada bing, bada boom, they're on their way to their new home. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then I've gotta make a reel for Monday sale bubble wrap. And I need to film a video for the Misty Show. So I've got a lot more things I need to do today before I leave. So we are sitting outside now. Jaden, Mark, there's dad. There's my mother. Oh, it's for the vlog. Hi, vlogger. <laughs> Dad, say hi. It's the vlog. Say hi on the vlog. Hi, hi. Say hi, Jaden. Say hi, Mark. We are just hanging out out here. Uh, I gotta edit a video, and then tomorrow, mother leaves. I have to take her. You, she. Oh God. To the, at the crack of, at the crack of dawn. And she'll be back going to Florida. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday, September 28th, the day after Emma's birthday. I just, I had to get up really early, just dropped mom off. Um, she is on her way back to Florida. We had a really nice visit. I wish it was a little bit longer, but there'll be other times for that. But um, I had a sale overnight on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Well, I took a best offer which you can do. The sellers over on Virtual Antique Marketplace, they, they will entertain offers. So I did sell this little girl with her poodles. So we will get her ready and her little parasol. We'll get her ready to go to her new home. I got a lot to do today. I got to finish editing. Well, I'm going to ship this first. I have to finish editing a video. I started it to edit it started editing last night and was falling asleep. And that's never a good thing when you're trying to edit a video because then you you make mistakes or you, you you leave things in that should have been taken out and you know it can be kind of a thing so 
I'm going to edit a video. I did pull the items that I'm going to be selling in, on October 9th with Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. We're going to have a sale, a pop-up sale, Monday, October 9th on my channel. I am going to be selling these finials. I love them. They look so cool in, in a display. Um, I got two of these vintage ha Halloween fortune cards. If for fortune you are looking when the moon is full and low, take a walk all by your lonesome neath the stars which, which mellow glow. Should you find a stick that's crooked, tie it to your neighbor's gate, then run home before the witches find you and crack your pate. What? Pate! That's me! Ooh, that one's different. That one said, that one's different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them as choice, but you, the person's going to get the flower frog. What does this one say? Um, if you want the greatest fortune ever found in this broad land, pawn your dog and buy a trombone from a little German band. Learn to play the sweetest music that will make her heart beat hop, beats hop, and perhaps some pretty heiress will the unusual question pop. Okay. See, these are like what fortune cookies should say now. Like now you get a fortune cookie and it's like, it doesn't make any sense from the majority of the time, but it's not cool like that. So, and then I've got Holt Howard cow shakers. I've got the Mary Mushroom shakers. I have an October angel. I have black cat planter with her matching salt and pepper shakers. I have a masquerade. Now, the, the wig is still in here. It is a black wig. You can see. Let me open this up. I'm not going to pull it out of the box, but it's in there. There it is. But you can style it all these different ways, apparently. This says, oh, it's a minstrel. It's a min Which one's minstrel? Oh, the minstrel man. So that's the wig that's in here. But I love the graphics on it. And it's got the original Ben Franklin 49 cent stamp. Love that. And then I have, because we're doing 10 things. I've got the uh, black and gold chalkware fish with the bubbles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is so weird. Oh, I know because they're back here. <laughs> Eight, nine. That's just nine. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I love that. It's hand blown. I need to put some little florals in it. And then this little Kimple um, amber jar. Really, really pretty. Kimple glass. So those are going to be available Monday. Now, Monday night. I got these things, which is the 9th, October 9th, October 9th, which is two weeks away, but I'm leaving, I'm going to be gone for vacation. So I've got Peter Max, I've got Belgium jars, I got swung vase, I got planters, I've got, I need a, I got Rimple, I've got carnival glass. I got some good stuff. That's Monday night, Mother Tucker Mondays on October 9th. I know I'm jumping the gun here a little bit, and it, but I'm, I'm leaving next week, and I want to have these things ready. So I've got my reels and my pictures taken. Those will all be up in, in time for you to see. Um, and then I've started pulling things for next Tuesday when I return that sale. I'm not real, I, uh, I'm not real crazy about what I've got but I'm gonna be doing a lot of well I'm gonna be doing some books so these are the things that I have pulled for Tuesday look at this look at the, these are Lennox eat my apple <laughs> I love her oh uh, they are salt and pepper shakers now the issue is she's got a broken crown on her head hmm but I love them snow white Salt and pepper shakers. I just, I love her. She's my favorite. 
Um, and then a little Jack and Pulpit. Some Receipt Spikes. I love this. I, I might pair it with another game, but it is. it does have all the... It's a new exciting game for children. The TV Salt and Pepper Shakers. Those are fun. I have a chenille bear, a pink chenille bear, some popcorn art. I do have several books. This book here in particular, I loved this one. Polite Life and Etiquette. So this is from, well, it has an inscription of 1922. Look at that. Cordially yours, Miss Georgine something Benham. What's Right and the Social Arts, uh, 1891. So this tells you what all you need to do in 1891. So here we go. A young girl who is impotent or careless in her demeanor to her mother or her father's friends, who goes about without a chaperone and talks slang, who is careless and her bearing towards young men, permitting them to treat her as if she were one of themselves, who accepts the attention of a young man or ba of bad character or dissipated habits because he happens to be rich, who is loud in dress and rough in manner. Such a young girl is bad society. Be she the daughter of a senator or a butcher. There are many such instances of audacity in the so-called good society of America, but such people do not spoil it. They simply isolate themselves. Okay, so a lot of good uh, reading in here of how to be culture, cultural roller and polite. How to do your napkins, informal luncheons, cards, proposals. Wedding invitations after the tour presents etiquette. So I love it. I love it. I love that. So that's going to be available. And then this great book here. I'm not going to say what this book is, but you I, you can just get your jollies from it now. Okay. I don't even need to say it. All right. I'm going to show it to you. Meow, meow, meow. So I'm really looking forward to selling that book during a live sale with Michael. Maybe I should read that etiquette book before I sell it. But, you know, I saw it and I had to get it. Right? I mean, you would have too. Don't, don't even act like, don't even act like you wouldn't because you would. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get that little girl shipped. I'm going to try not to fall. Then I'm going to get this video edited. I got to go back a little bit to make sure that it isn't, I, I, it's edited correctly. And then I have some errands to run today. I do. I have to go to the post office. I'm going to go to Riverside. So I'll pop in at Riverside for a little bit. I've got to go to Walmart. I know. And I have to go to Dollar Tree. So there's things I've got to do. And then I have to go home and do laundry and get packed. Because we are leaving bright and early in the morning. Yes. We're macking all. Okay, quick dip into Riverside. See what we've got going on here today. This is kind of primitive, but I really kind of like this. It's a little shelf sitter. It was painted by this girl, 2023. I think it's really, I think it's really cute. It is eight dollars. I like it. Okay, getting ready to turn the corner over to booth 16. <gasps> Ooh, look at him, Frank. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh, look, he's sleeping. Not seeing a sleeping one. Oh, cabbage patch costume. Oh my gosh, this is Viking. Oh, it's got no price on it though. So this is treasure craft, I do believe, for twenty-five. The mm -hmm. little pixie guy there, he is sleeping. He's 25. Look at the big QB. He's 50. Oh, we got bears with the, with the Halloween hats on. Oh, this is Viking. A little bitty Viking for 25. I have
have several of these. This is also Treasure Craft, I do believe. He's 14. It says as is. He's got a little bit of boober there, but he still looks pretty good to me. I'm going to get him. Also, this Hallmark Christmas Seals book with the Santas. Wait, how many are in there? It says it has should have 30. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that not all 30 are there, but still kind of neat to see. It's 350. Got a Viking Glimmer light for 60. And you are also Viking for 20. Man, I probably am going to get you. I don't need to start a collection of the handkerchief faces, but I do like that green. Oh, I just noticed. So booth 16 is 10% off everything. I have these. Love it for ten dollars with ten percent off. I think I'm gonna get those as well. And then this one is she is the mermaid. I think yeah, you're the mermaid. She is missing the sailor, but that's still a pretty amazing thing. So I think I'm gonna get her too. Okay, so I'm at Walmart running some errands, and oh my gosh, look what they have! Look at that. It's only $16.97. That is a great vintage Santa print. Vintage inspired. So they've got their Christmas stuff out. I'm just taking a look. Those little snowmen's are cute down there. But that, man, <laughs> there's only one left. I'm like, do I buy that? I'm thinking that I might. Gosh, Mark's going to be so mad at me. But I, I absolutely love that. And look at these trees. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it because I, I don't really need any more. I have a lot of Christmas stuff. I have actual vintage Christmas. But that's pretty cute. Ooh, look at this Santa. Hi, boys and girls. I got my high cocoa. Cute. But yeah, Walmart. They're doing the Target thing. That's what Target had last year. I'm telling you what. Hmm. Walmart, you're doing it up this Christmas, I think. I think so. Look at these. Look at these. That's a flocked Santa in red, green, and white. Look at these. Mr. Christmas's 90th anniversary. These are vintage inspired here. We got Santa and the reindeer, and look at the little mugs. Look at that. Look at the little mugs. Two dollars and sixty-eight cents for the little mugs. Those are adorable. Those are gonna sell out. Oh look, they've got little snowmen mugs too. Those are really cute. Those are gonna sell out. They sure will. But you know, you have to kind of go in here come in here and get some of this stuff early because it'll all be gone. Oh look at all the grinch. Okay, I, this is the last thing that I need to be doing today, but I got to look. <laughs> look at these. What's this guy do? Oh, well, that's adorable. Do you play different? Nope, it plays the same song. Okay, these are all, these are all pretty cute. Oh, okay, one more, one more. Oh, he just lights up. And then down here, we got more. Oh, that's a cute stocking right there. Okay. A raptor, a present for you. Hmm. Oh, look, bottle brush trees. I don't need any more, I have a lot. Oh, the hot dog house. Oh, what do you do? Do you do something? Oh, oh that's fun. Look at that. It's like an eye sculpture. What's this? Oh, there's Santa in there. Watch the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring. 
Sandy, you can't, he sounds a little scary. Okay, one more. That's just happiness. You know, oh, look at the gingerbread houses. Urgh. Well, all right, I gotta focus. All right, I am home. I just got done making my Hello Fresh for tonight, which is barbecue meatloafs with shingled potatoes. I just stuck it in the oven. There we are. Potatoes are, I'm gonna have a salad tonight. I've been craving salad, so I'll let the Mark and Dad have that. And then I gotta start packing. I'm gonna get this laundry done, let that cook, get the laundry done, and then finish packing for Mac and all. I'm so excited. Well, happy Friday, October 29th, 8th. Coming October. Uh, September. September 29th? Yes. September 29th. I am ending the vlog because I started editing it last night and it was already 45 minutes long. But Mark, where are we going right now? I don't know. all. We're on our way. We're on our way. So I will be vlogging uh, throughout the week when we're on vacation. I will be doing some like dedicated vlogs while we're on the island in a certain and a couple other places. So make sure that you are subscribed to the Misty Show because that's where those will be uploaded to. So really excited but thank you guys so much for watching the vlog this week and we'll see you in the next one say bye mark bye. Bye. hello friends thanks so much for watching the video don't forget i have a second channel the misty show i would love for you to come over and follow me also don't forget that i have live sales every tuesday at one o'clock eastern right here on my youtube channel and go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace it is an online antique mall there's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers so go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.